This is the Holmes box fan from the early 90s, I believe. This one least came out. As you can see, it has a lot of resemblance to the Robeson fan, mainly with the blades. Which is kind of cool. I'm just going to say it, this thing is cheap. It's not as bad as the modern day box fans, but it's still pretty cheap. I mean, for one thing, the grill is incredibly flimsy and very close to the blades. It's not exactly touching, but it's very close. The blades actually seem slightly off balance. And if you notice... No handle! No handle! No handle! Oh, there it is. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm a big fan of Eskimo. <laughs> I can erase this. But yeah, it even has the sticker saying not to use it in the window. I'm pretty sure plenty of people ignored that since they typically take him out when it's raining anyway. But yeah, compared to the other box fans, like such as the Lakewoods, this is pretty cheap. I mean, it still has the full size McMillan motor, but the cabinet's still pretty flimsy. Um, this didn't come with feet, unfortunately, and from the looks of it, it doesn't even look like it uses the typical sliding feet, so... I'm gonna have to figure something out if I keep this. I haven't bothered cleaning it. Like, one... Th like, I really do not like how they also have the switch attached to the grill, since it just kind of makes it a bit more tedious to clean. Since you, with other box fans, you can just slide it off without any problem. Anyway, let's start this off on high and I have to hold it. And low. Yeah, as you can see, it's shaking a bit. Also, it doesn't seem to go as fast on low compared to other box fans. And there is, and it's not because of oiling. This thing is pretty well lubricated. I actually ran this for a full day during the summer, and it didn't go much faster. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but this thing is pretty shaky. I mean, compared to this. Uh, here's just the one that, with the smaller ventricles, as you can see. For the most part, the grows are similar. But yeah, in comparison to other box fans to during this time frame, this is pr rather cheap. I mean, it's better than the ones of today, especially those modern Holmes box fans. Those are even worse. But this is still a rather cheap fan. But it does do the job. Anyway, that's my Holmes box fan. And I'll see you later.